Hi guys, it's Pam on. Here's the part two to the bloom recipe video, or rather the swipe recipe, bloom swipe recipe. I've got three varnishes here. Now for the longest time I just used these two, but recently I've incorporated some polyacrylic. Um, this is, I just opened this so I can't really tilt it. Maybe I'll just put a picture up for you guys. The oil modified water-based Minwax polyurethane in the clear gloss. It comes in satin, it comes in semi-gloss. This is the clear gloss and this is the color can that it comes in the black and silver. I find this at Walmart. Um, this gallon came from Walmart, I believe. And um, it was nice when I found it there. They didn't always carry it there at my Walmart. Um, I started buying it at Lowe's and um, I've also seen it at Sherwin-Williams. And I'm sure there are other places, but that's where I see it so far. What I'm gonna do is do one part each of these three. This is, of course, Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish, and this is Min Wax Water-Based Polyacrylic. Pretty sure this is, yeah, this is water-based also. So these three are all water-based. Now, if you, um, like I said, I recently started using this to thin down my mixture a little bit. Um, I can do blooms with this recipe also. It's kind of in between the thickness that I used to use and a little thinner so that I can do blooms. It's kind of in between so I can do both since I've started adding this to it. Um, I've quit adding water to my uh, recipe. You can add it, you know, a drop or two if you've got like a thick uh, paint or it's thickened up on you after being in the container, but um, I don't really think it's necessary. So what I do is, um, like I said, one part each of these, and I'm gonna go ahead and put one of each in these little cups. Sonia, the Minwax Oil Modified, and the Minwax Polycrylic. And I'm just going to add those together so that I can see what they amount to. so I can mix mix colors, use them to mix colors in. No point throwing them away. Okay. Not yet, anyway. Woo! Stir that up. Okay, this is Golden's Retarder. There are other lines that make something like this. It's an additive. It uh, dries the, the, it's an additive for slowing the drying time of acrylic paints and mediums. So I used to add this per color as I was making out my, my colors with the acrylic paint, but now I'm just putting it in the pouring medium. And it'll tell you on the back, well, I'm sorry, it doesn't tell you on the back here. No, no it does. Do not add more than one part retarder to one part paint. Well, of course, 
I'm not adding anywhere near that. I'm gonna put two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I also use this wedding agent. Kind of does the same thing, kind of helps thin things out. I'm almost out a bit. Sometimes I use them both. I've used them both for the last, you know, how long have we been doing this? A year and a half, two years. So. Okay, and whatever this amount is, I will take an equal amount of the paint base. This is Bears 8300. Everybody's using it now. I've been using this well, since video, before video 77. This is really the same recipe, only I've added the polyacrylic, so. And I don't use any water because of the polyacrylic. So I'm gonna spoon some of this out and I'm gonna put equal amounts, maybe a little bit more of this, depending on the consistency that you want. Okay, you can see they're the same. I'm gonna go ahead and, just like with resin, I like to pour the thick into the thin. I heard that trick somewhere. I think it was Artist Till Death. But that was with resin. But it works. going to be very lumpy, so you're going to have to stir for quite a bit. varnish. There were three varnishes in my varnish though. So one part varnish to one part of the, of the gloss base. I almost called it a paint base. Now people used to use that HDTV from Lowe's. I never tried that. But prior to this bear I was using paint bases, different ones, experimenting with different ones. And um, this has seemed to work really well for me. Okay, for the cell activator, I used just the Elmer's Glue All and American Flow Troll. That's how I started out doing the swipe. I just recently started using the Aussie Floetrol, which makes it even better, but I'm gonna just show you a recipe with just American Floetrol, since it's easily accessible. Thing is, it varies so much. You can get a really thick batch, or you can buy a batch that's fine. This smells fine, but I've had it a while. I think it's thickened up, see? I'm gonna do about a teaspoon and a half. So I'm doing about three parts flow troll. To one part paint. And 
about half a teaspoon of the Elmer's glue all. Now this isn't school glue, it's glue all. That may not be quite a half, but. And Liquitex acrylic ink and titanium white. And I'm gonna do about five drops of that. Let's say seven drops of that. <laughs> 